Hi guys, I'm Mark and I'm an Oyster Boy and you may have seen on the channel recently that I picked up a Kegmaster Series Premium XL 3-tap kegerator which I'm currently in love with, three different things on tap at all times, fantastic. Now the only problem with that is that the handles that it comes with are these little plain black ones, which actually, they're, they're no problem at all, they're very functional, they're very nice. Makes it very difficult for people to know what is on each of the taps at any time when you've got guests over. Now, over the years, I've used lots of different tap handles, some of which I've got behind me here. So I've got like some branded ones, like some Beaver Town ones, Brooklyn Pilsner, Stella one there. And then I've got these sort of nice wooden carved ones I think I got off Etsy a long, long time ago. And um, whilst all of those have been fantastic, I've had to either tell people what I've got on tap, because I normally, I used to have two taps, so I'd have to tell people what's on the left, what's on the right, or I could hang a little uh, hook or a little elastic band little label to the tap but i saw a video on youtube not too long ago and it was so fantastic that i could not ignore it and i had to go out and get the stuff to do it so i did um but it was sort of one section of a very large video and i want to sh sort of dedicate one video to this and show you what you need to buy where you need to get it from and how you can go about making these now this is really cool this is a 3d printed tap handle and inside the tap handle is an nfc powered uh, e-ink paper display. So this currently says Aperol Spritz on there because that's the last thing that I had on this tap before I took off the kegerator. I can just hold my phone against there and I can change that logo in a matter of seconds. It's really handy because you can change it to say that it's run out, which I'll pop a picture on the screen of when I did that. Um, and I've got all the parts laid out over there, so I'm going to talk you through how to make it. Step one, first thing you want to do is you want to go and check out Trent Musho from The Brew Show. It was his video that I found this on. His channel's absolutely fantastic. Some really, really great content on there. So please go over there, smash like, hit subscribe, and check out all of his other videos. Now, once you've done that, you need to find someone that has a 3D printer. Now, you might have one yourself. You might know a friend that has one, or you might know a local business that will do 3D printing on demand for you. But if you haven't, like me, what I did was I just went on Facebook and put an update on my status that says, has anyone got a 3D printer? And I got a couple of replies. And one of my friends very kindly said he would print me up four of those handles for a tenner, because that's how much the filament cost him. So super, super cheap. Um, I will put a link in the description for the files for this. And when the file is downloaded, one second, it will come in two parts. There is the main housing here, and there is the back. These things are what's going to be fired off by the 3D printer. There are two other things, three other things that you're going to need to make this work. One is this tiny little screw, any color you like, it'll be at the back so it doesn't really matter. You should be able to find any of these lying around in a drawer or if not just go to a local hardware store. Size isn't too precious about this because it will go through the plastic like butter. Two is you're going to need a nut to go in the bottom there, and you're going to glue that in with some sort of grab adhesive, like no more nails, that's what I used. It's in there, it's not going anywhere. But it is a very specific size nut. If you're in the UK and you think, oh, I'll use an M10, because that'll fit on my taps, the M10 nut will be too big to fit in the housing at the bottom. I'll put a link in the description down below for a pack of four of these screws on Amazon. Super cheap, no biggie. And then the last thing you're going to need is this, which is a 2.7 inch, NFC powered e-paper display. The company that makes these is called Waveshare. I will pop a link in the description down for below as well. These again, I picked up on Amazon. They are very readily available and I'll show you what it's like when it comes out of the box. Comes all packaged up. Just made a little nick in that packaging there. And you will see that it has a little protective film on the front there, which will take off just towards the end. And there's these little sil um, gold brass things on the back, which we're gonna take off. There's a little Phillips screw uh, on the front there, so we'll just undo those because we don't need them to have those on. Okay, so you've got your housing here, you've got your display. We can go ahead and take that protective film off there because nobody needs that. And when you put it in, you wanna make sure that the little ribbon there is at the bottom of the tap. Pop that in. And then you'll see that the back of the tap handle has some little protrusions there which are going to hold it in place. Like so. All done. It's in. And then we're going to get our little screw.
and we're just going to screw that in. And now that can't go anywhere at all. So the app that you want to use for this, or the one that I use for this anyway, is called NFC eTag. I'll put a link in the description down below for where you can get it from the App Store. When you open it up, you want to select the right kind of paper display that you've got. We're going for the 2.7 inch. Uh, and then you can click on either of the pictures and choose which image you want. Uh, this time we're going for this big, buff, burly wizard. Uh, once you've got the picture loaded up, you can adjust the settings on the sliders until you can get to the best version of that picture. Uh, might not look so fantastic on screen, but um, click it when you're done and it'll come up with ready to scan. And then you need to just hold it next to the device. So apologies in advance for this bit. I'm uh, now filming in my brutality room on an iPad, um, but we will see how we go. So there are the three taps installed. One has Aperol Spritz, two are still blank. And I, if you remember, I had that picture of a super hench wizard. So I am now going to try and transfer that picture to this tap. There we go, updated successfully. And there he is. Would you look at that? And there you go, this is the example of an image that I created in ChatGPT by just telling it the pixel dimensions that I wanted it in and what I wanted it to advertise. There you got the Hench Wizard, and there you got the Aperol Spritz. So all in all, I think quite the cool addition. Thanks very much for watching guys. I will admit this video probably is a little hectic. It's a bit awkward trying to film uh, multiple things when you're using your phone, which you'd normally use to film to do something in the video. And we haven't got a cameraman. So hopefully I've managed to get the message across about how this all works and what you can do with it. Um, as I said before, please go and check out Trent's channel and subscribe, smash like, and check out his video, which showed you loads of really cool other things that you can do uh, with brewing and a 3D printer. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Oysters out.